Telix is a clinical stage biotech company that focuses on molecularly targeted radiation, which is essentially attaching radioactivity to a drug. We inject it into your arm and we let the drug carry the radioactivity to the tumor. The unique thing about MTR is that you have both an image and a therapy in the same product. And the radiation itself leads to a release of immunostimulant tumor components, so we also instigate a very strong uh, immune response, which uh, is translates into a longer-lasting anti-tumor effect compared to conventional treatments. And at the same time, the treatment is much better tolerated than conventional chemotherapy or conventional radiation therapies. We have three major focus areas, brain cancer, renal cancer, and prostate cancer. Our furthest ahead program is in renal cancer. It's a phase three program, so a couple of years away from commercialization. We feel it's, it's a place where Telix has fairly low competition. The niche and the competitive landscape uh, nature of the product is very favorable. The prostate cancer program is a major commercial opportunity for the company, both diagnostically and therapeutically. There are a lot of companies going after novel prostate therapies, but we feel that we have a differentiated strategy and we feel that there are certain patient populations we're going to be able to treat very favorably. The leading prostate cancer drugs command a multi-billion dollar opportunity and we'd like to take some of that from the existing players. And then our earliest stage program, but also very promising, is in glioblastoma. Glioblastoma is an aggressive, difficult to treat cancer. Because MTR combines a lot of different therapeutic modalities in one treatment, it's a very effective way to treat glioblastoma. Um, the market opportunity for glioblastoma is, is a substantial opportunity if somebody can develop an effective therapy. And unfortunately, most drugs fail. We have biological antibodies and as well as small molecules, so we can really select the most appropriate types targeting agent by indication. For instance, for brain cancer, you have the blood-brain barrier, which prevents larger molecules such as antibodies to enter the brain, so a small molecule is more appropriate. On the other hand, we have antibodies which have very favorable biodistribution properties to ensure a long-lasting impact on the tumor, which is favorable, for instance, in prostate cancer. We have a lot of clinical data to support the development of these products. These are not early stage programs, uh, and so consequence, the risk is, is much more reasonable compared to a typical biotech company. We built Telix on the back of some very important clinical relationships, and we work with hospitals like Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York, a leading cancer institute that pioneered a lot of the technology behind Telix. We're based in the Parkville Biotech Precinct. Across the road from our office is the Peter McCallum Cancer Center, which has one of the finest nuclear medicine departments in the world. We have a very special relationship with Cyclotech, which is our domestic manufacturer and supplier of doses for clinical trials. And uh, we feel very strongly that including Australian patients in our clinical trials is an important corporate objective. We have a, a really great group of people, both in Australia and internationally, that know how to develop these products and, and make the company a success.